Hey what's going on guys and in today's video I will be reviewing my brand new air conditioner. This is the LG dual inverter air conditioner. This one is rated at 1.5 tons or 18,000 BTUs. I don't know if you guys can tell just by uh, listening to the sound in this video but this air conditioner is very quiet. Uh, right now it is running. You can't even hear the blower fan running. Forget the outdoor unit. The outdoor unit of this air conditioner is also very quiet. So if I go close you might be able to hear the fan a little bit. But yeah it is running and it is very quiet. And this is a close up of the star rating if you are interested. Anyway, I'm going to put a picture of this down in the video description. You can check it over there. Now my question is, why would you want an inverter AC? Well, for starters, inverter air conditioners consume a lot less power than the uh, conventional air conditioners. Uh, that only happens when the uh, desired temperature has been reached. So you can see my digital thermometer reads around 25.4 degrees and the AC is set to 25 degrees. So what happens on an inverter AC is that once the uh, set temperature has been reached, the compressor slows down rather than stopping altogether. Uh, so that helps in maintaining the room temperature at a constant level rather than fluctuating. That also reduces the wear and tear on the compressor and reduces the amount of electricity consumed. Alright, so right now the air conditioner is running at 100% power. You press the watt option to reduce the amount of power. So right now it is running at 80% of its original capacity. Press it again to reduce it to 60 and press it once more to reduce to 40% of the power which is around 0.75 tons. And you'll see the display will change over there and it'll show the um, percentage of power it is running at. To restore the original power press the watt option again and, and it goes on the um, and it goes into the regular mode. Alright, so this is the data sheet which is stuck onto the side of the air conditioner. So pause the video right now if you want to take a look at whatever is written on over here. By the way, interesting fact, this unit is made in Thailand. Even the outdoor unit is made in Thailand. So it's not a Chinese or Taiwanese unit. This is stuck onto the back side of the indoor unit. And also this, uh, this air conditioner uses R410A refrigerant, almost 900 grams of R410A refrigerant. Also this particular model comes with LG's Mosquito Away technology. So this is the remote which comes with this particular model of air conditioner. Uh, it's got a nice big LCD display and it uses triple A batteries. Alright guys I'm gonna try and explain to you guys what all functions this remote performs. Alright so you turn the air conditioner on and off by this power button and this is the mosquito away feature. Now there is no visible indication of mosquito away feature being turned on and off on the uh, air conditioner itself so uh, you'll have to take a look over here. Uh, there is this little icon which there you go that one so that turns it off and what option I already explained you can scale the uh, tonnage down 80% 60% 40% and regular the auto clean feature leaves the blower fan running even when you turn the air conditioner off for about half an hour this is to dry out the internals of the indoor unit it'll dry out the um, evaporator coil and thus preventing any mold for formation 
mode cycles through different modes so we have AI mode this is for dehumidification use it in monsoons and we have fan so right now I'm gonna keep it at cool mode jet mode increases the fan speed to maximum and sets the temperature down to 16 degrees for immediate fast cooling fan speed is you can change the indoor unit fan speed this uh, air conditioner supports up to five fan speeds so let me just show you fan 2 fan 3 fan 4 and fan 5 and the fan is actually pretty fast once you once you have it on maximum yeah it's got a really nice air throw I usually keep it at fan 1 and you also get different swing you can see it goes all the way down and you can adjust this and it goes all the way up just like that now this one unfortunately does not have the horizontal swing so this feature does not work uh, horizontal swing comes in very selected models so this feature won't work one touch software is again for adjusting the uh, vertical swing it goes all the way down press it again it goes all the way up you can set the sleep mode press it once and then you press this button to increase the sleep timer and this button to decrease the sleep timer so you can set the sleep to how many how much ever hours you want do turn on the sleep timer just press this button and the AC will show a notification there five hours sleep timer and if you don't want the sleep timer just press this button again and it will clear the sleep timer and again you can also set the on timer you can select what time you need to turn the AC off and what, at what time you need to turn off the air conditioner so you have both the on timer and the off timer uh, this button turns off the uh, display on the air conditioner just like that this button you can use for setting the uh, clock on the remote just wait for it to focus so you long press this to set the clock there you go and this lastly this button displays the room temperature which is also at 25 degrees right now the AC is also set to 25 and the temperature sensor of this remote is over here so I think that's it for this video guys, thank you for watching and I hope this video helps you out in selecting your new air conditioner. So thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. See you all later.